What is even beyond ethers? All right, that is the question for today. And that is the question for number 134 of the 144 uh, fractal faculties of the tree of life. If you'd like to get a complete listing for free, a uh, complete listing of all of the 144 fractal faculties uh, in abstract form, just like a couple sentences on each one, just uh, put your name and email in the um, comment section. I'll send that out to you for free. Also, you can check out my video called uh, Tree of Life, an Introduction over on YouTube. Uh, that will give you enough of an introduction to be able to watch all these videos uh, in this series. And uh, to go a little bit deeper, you can send me 10 bucks on Venmo or Cash App uh, listed in the description. And I will send you a copy of my book called The Mass Tree which is a, a more deeper, more thorough introduction to Tree of Life. It's only about 65 pages, but, you know, um, it'll give you, you know, everything that you need to follow along with these videos. Okay, now today we're looking at number 134. And as you can see, the Tree of Life, uh, this is uh, for the purposes of this is a map of our consciousness. Each one of the circles or spheres on the tree is an aspect of our consciousness or a faculty of our consciousness. And there are 12 of them. They are numbered 10 through zero plus the abyss right here. So a total of 12. And when we're talking about number 134, uh, we find ourselves way up here at the top, at the zero sphere. Okay, so um, the zero sphere is one of our twelve faculties of consciousness. Which one? Do, which what does it represent? Well, the zero represents a mystery. It represents nothingness. Uh, zero. It represents not being in the universe. Uh, it's outside of the universe. You can think of it almost as the rule book. Uh, it's what existed before the universe, even though we're not really talking about time um, in that way. But uh, it was uh, perce it per preceded the existence of the universe. The one here, it's a it's a uh, an opposite of one. One is everything it is the all it is the creator of the universe and it is the um higher self within us all it is our god our god particle um but the the zero is nothingness and it is the uh the nothing and it is uh what is not part of the universe but it is still part of the creator Okay, so the one is, is the all. It is the universe that we know of. Um, and the creator is, uh, it, we are all part of the creator. And we are all part of this uh, universe. But the zero is what the creator reserves to itself. So meaning that it is... Uh, the part of the creator that we're not in contact with or it, or only indirectly in contact with the zero also corresponds to inner peace um our ability to remain uh you know emotionless even when crazy chaotic things are happening we still have this inner peace because uh we know that we're part of the creator Okay, now um, the zero is just one of our 12 faculties of consciousness or really, you know, um, lack of consciousness in this case. And uh, we're looking at the 144 fractal faculties of consciousness. So to get from 12 to 144, we're taking this whole tree to the second power. 
12 times 12 is 144. So what we're doing, you know, represented on this map here is we're taking the whole tree, we're shrinking it down to just the size of one sphere. And then we are superimposing the whole tree onto each sphere. So you to get the 144, basically you're imagining that there is a mini tree on each one of the spheres. So each one of the spheres divides up into 12. So you, you know, you have 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, and so on. Uh, and 12 of those for a total of 144 different fractal faculties. So within the zero sphere, there's a whole tree. And today for number 134, we're looking at the first fractal of the zero sphere. So what is the first sphere? Well, we said the first sphere is the all. The first sphere is omnipresence, all present everywhere at once, eternally. And this also corresponds to the higher self at our deepest center. Okay, so uh, those two aspects are going together here to form uh, this number 134, uh, which is called um, uh, indivisible duality. Now we remember that number 132 was called invisible duality. And invisible duality had to do with the closest packing of spheres uh, that is uh, underlies that first ether. The first ether is the isotropic vector matrix. It's all the straight lines that are connecting together. Um, and that is the grid that underlies everything. It's at our deepest center. But if we go even a step further, we recognize that those that grid that uh, is the isotropic vector matrix is underlain by itself by um, the closest packing of spheres. So you have all these identical spheres packed in together, and when you connect their center points, you end up getting the uh, isotropic vector matrix. But that's the in invisible duality. But to get to the indivisible duality here at number 134, uh, we have to add in the concave octavoids. And the concave octavoids, if you have all of these spheres connected with each other, they don't fill all the space. There's, there's spaces between all the spheres. And those spaces are... Um, concave octahedrons or octavoids. They, they don't have uh, any qualities. They're, they're void. Concave octavoids. x to the zero power equals one. The natural log of one equals zero. Zero makes things move by suction, but cannot itself be moved, creating the universe of motion, indivisibly inherent within the closest packing of spheres are the concave octavoids. There is zero and there is one. Zero is the part of the creator the creator reserves for itself. A mystery to us. We only perceive, we only believe in the surface of the creator. That inner God particle within us is just the surface of the creator. The rest, zero, are the creator's other aspects we are not privy to. A mystery. The emotional state, the intention, the origin of the methods of the creator. The creator's private life. The zero part of the creator is a total mystery, represented by concave octavoids. 
The creator has zero others, zero awareness, zero experience, zero emotions. One is the creator we know of, zero is the creator we don't know of. Start with zero. The zero power equals one. X to the zero power equals one. The real perceiver is consciousness. Unity. Nothing can be inducted from it because it is all that can be. It cannot be added to. But it can be divided by zero. Indivisible duality, CPS, co closest packing of spheres, and concave octavoids. In, um, at absolute zero temperature, the volume equals one. In absolute silence, we have unity. One is the unifying point that eventually resolves all reciprocals from one to infinity and from one to zero. Pairs of inverses and opposites merge into one. Lowering the power to zero causes equilibrium where everything is one. Zero is the power of the creator so that if we tune into zero, we can arrive at the creator. Zero and infinity leads to a multiverse with one in the center. There is a whole universe between one and zero. In the same way, there is a whole universe between one and infinity. Then that creates the idea of the time region and the space region within the one. While the time-space region and space-time regions are between one and infinity. Uh, that's all part of the reciprocal system. And, um, you know, what we're really thinking of here is that this con these concave octavoids really represent the zero power. Um, and the zero temperature, absolute zero temperature. At that temperature, then you have one, a volume of one. At that power, you have one. To the zero power equals one. To the zero temperature equals one. Uh, so that's maybe how you think of these concave octavoids. Okay, that is the end of the... Uh, Zero, the first fractal of the zero sphere, number 134, indivisible duality, concave octavoids. Uh, you know, uh, they are filling the space uh, that is left over when you have the closest packing of spheres. All right. Uh, now, again, if you'd like to get a free copy of my Guide to the 144 Fractal Faculties, just click the link in the description and I'll send that out to you. Or actually, you probably should uh, leave your uh, name and email in the comments section because my automated system, I think, is not working uh, to get you to just, just click the link. And... Um, you can also buy my book on Venmo or Cash App uh, called The Mass Tree. If you uh, want to go a little bit deeper, 10 bucks will get you that book. Uh, you can also donate gratuitously to me on Venmo or Cash App. Um, if you're feeling generous in the holiday spirit. Uh, otherwise, just stay tuned for future videos on this channel. I'm going to be doing number 135 tomorrow and uh, a lot of stuff coming up in the future on different subjects other than the tree of life. All right. Have a great day. Um, thanks for tuning in.